Hello and welcome to the second part of my video series about backend module creation. In this video, I want to show you how can, you can use the Type 3 module template to make your backend module look like the rest of the backend. So the code I have here is the one we created in the first part of the series. So if you didn't watch that yet, you should. I have my demo controller here, which currently just delivers a plain response. If we look at the module in the back end, we just have this little message, hello YouTube. And as you can see, we don't have any styles or anything. So what we want to do is we want to use the module template of Typo3 to make this look a bit nicer. There's a factory for that. The module template factory which we can use. We can create a module template from it, from the requests we have. And then add that as a variable. Then we can go and set content in our module like this. And then instead of directly writing hello YouTube here, we can say module template render content instead. Let's see what that does. Oh, we get an error. That's because we changed the parameters here. Every time you see such an error, you should go to maintenance and then flush the caches. Let's try again. And we have hello module template here. And as you can see, the little gray bar on top, as known from the other modules, is here now too. And also the, the font changed to be more in line with the rest of the backend. While this is great and the module template has helper methods to let us add buttons and stuff like that on the top gray bar, I also want to use Fluid to style the content of my module because I don't want to have a real HTML here, but I want to use Fluid. To use Fluid, I will inject a view, a standalone view here and then configure that view for my module. So we have the layout root path. Resources private layouts. We have the template root path. And these should be arrays. And the partial root path. And then I want to set a specific template here For example, I want to render the list template. Now we need to create all these folders. So that's resources, private, and we create folder for the layouts. One for the templates. and a third one for the partials. And then in the templates folder, I want to have a file called list.html and just say hello from a fluid template. So now we have a configured view object here, but we aren't using it yet. So we need to switch 
from hello module template to this view render. Let's see what happens, whether that is already enough. Let's try this. There we go again. As we learned, we need to clear the caches. Oh no, I missed a error. Hello from a Fluid template. Here we go. This is how you can use the module template and a Fluid template to render your backend module. If you want to know what kind of styles you can use, it's always a good idea to install the Typo3 style guide extension, which I did. Then it's available here. And you have, for example, tables or avatar renderings or info boxes with the corresponding markup and even things like models are shown here. So you can use these in your own backend modules. I hope you go on to create great looking backend modules and let me know if you're missing any information here. Have fun. Bye-bye.